Welcome to the broadcast of Dance Place Rona Implants Live Talks, where we air directly from EAO in Vienna. This is the first of three live sessions today where we interview guests mixed with updates from Dance Place Rona Implants. Later, for the first time ever, we will broadcast directly from Dance Place Rona Implants Corporate Forum, Inspiration Talks. Topics such as a new innovative solution for friction retained implant crowns, as well as digital implant workflow, will be covered. To find out more details, check the, the global Dance by Serona Implants Facebook page. My name is Mia Jensen, and I'm Senior Manager at, in Clinical Affairs at Dance by Serona Implants, and I will guide you through live talks today. Here at the EAO, Dance by Serona Implants introduces a lot of new highlights and innovations in the digital implant workflow. And today we have two experts with us to try to understand, help us understand the different perspectives of the digital implant workflow, its, its benefits and offerings. Our first guest is Dr. Mark Ludlow. He's a prosthodontist with a background as a dental technician and from private practice. He currently holds the position as implant director at the Medical University of South Carolina, and he's interested in how digital technology can create better outcomes for the patients. We also have a second guest, Joe Massels, director of Digital Implant Solutions Platform, and he will update us on the latest on the digital implant workflow from Dance by Serona. So a warm welcome to you, Mark and Joe. I'm very happy that you could join us here on Live Talks today. Thanks. So today we're going to talk about the clinical treatment aspects of the digital implant workflow and what this means to the individual clinician and the patient. So Mark, to start with you, why and when did you decide to start working with a digital implant workflow? Uh, this has actually been go an ongoing thing that's pretty much spanned my whole life, all the way back to when I was a clinician, or when I was a lab technician. Began in about 99 back then with the Procera scanner and has progressed up to my, I got my first intraoral scanner about 13 or 14 years ago and has progressed since then. And the reason why I love it, it makes me so excited, is just because we're able to do things in such a predictable, streamlined manner for our patients that really creates a very different patient experience for our patients and, and really has a nice way of treating them in a very, very predictable, efficient way. So that's why I absolutely love it. I spend all of my time doing these things, and it's something I'm just absolutely passionate and excited about. And if you look at the clinical to lab workflow, what do you see as the main advantages? Well, I think it's got, it's got a handful of advantages just depending upon which side we kind of look at. I think the first is honestly predictability. Is In the lab side, we used to always joke that you know, to do a case, you'd have to do it three times. You'd first do it in wax, then you'd do it in plastic, then you'd do it in your restorative material. Well, nowadays, due to our designs, we can keep this exact same design all the way through every phase from the diagnostic phase all the way to the final rest restoration phase to where we can get a very streamlined, predictable result. And from a time perspective, it is absolutely efficient from a time perspective, whether we're doing our lab work. I know I can design a case that would take me hours to wax up before, and I can design this case in literally you know, 20 minutes and be done with it. And then from our single visit workflow as well, I mean, patients can walk in and walk out that same day with any type of restoration that we want to do on there. And I think it's just an absolute wonderful time efficiency and time saving perspective for us as well. So between predictability and time savings, I think those are the two greatest benefits, at least for me. Thank you. And Joe, what can Dance by Serona offer in terms of digital solutions? Uh, I think that's very exciting. The, the, the power of Dance, Dance by Serona is really that we have the uh, different digital solutions for, for different workflows. Whether you want to go completely chair side or you want to go uh, uh, lab, uh, clinic to lab workflow, we have different solutions. That also that depends on the preference of the dental professional, but not, not only that, I think it's also depending on the treatments you want to offer, whether that is single tooth versus edentulous cases for, uh, versus uh, really aesthetic cases. And we can offer that in various ways, even in, in hybrid workflows where you can decide uh, on the go, basically, whether you want to go full chair side, complete the case completely within the office or with, work with your, with your traditional lab. I think that's a, that's a, that's a very important power of Dance by Serona. Um, also because the, 
the career of a dentist can be dynamic or is dynamic over time. You might not have the, uh, the, the investments to, to make at the beginning, but over time you might be able to do so, uh, or you want to offer more treatments for your patients. And all of those can be done within the dance by Serona environment. And I think that's, that's really powerful. So you don't have to decide upon everything right, right away, but we can, we can support you along the way of your career. Um, and of course, we are continuously improving those workflows or those solutions to those workflows. And that's, uh, that's also what we're going to talk about here today, I think. So true. So let's have a look at one part of the digital implant workflow that can simplify the, life, the daily life of a dentist namely the data capturing. This is demonstrated by Volker Winter, Global Product Manager in CAD-CAM at Dentsply Serona. Let's have a look. I'm now going to scan the intraoral situation or from a model, and we are also going to uh, create a prosthetic proposal for this implant. So first thing what I do in the software that I choose the design of a crown and where I want to place it. The tooth position 4.6, that's all I need to do, and then I start the scanning uh, process. I take the camera and start with the distal tooth, moving it, and then you can see how the picture crea uh, uh, is created. I scan an area larger than just where the prosthesis is going to go. It's, uh, I scan all the area where the, the surgical guide, the Seriguide 3, is to be placed on, okay? I take also the, uh, the proximal contacts here, that's important for the prosthesis. That's already, that's the scan that I, I need. Optional is that I take uh, uh, the opposing arch, which is not required here, so I can directly proceed to the design of a crown. Now the design is calculated, the first proposal, the software looks at the adjacent T's and makes a proposal uh, for this crown. You see, this already looks, uh, looks nice. And then I'm actually done here in the software. And then I transfer the data file into the implant uh, uh, planning software, Galileo's implant. And then I transfer two pieces of information. It's the scan itself of the situation, which is required to create the surgical guide, plus uh, I have the prosthetic proposal. This is then all we need uh, to, to make an ideal implant planning which considered the bone plus the neighboring teeth uh, and soft tissue. That's it. So Mark, do you have any comments after watching this? I love it. That's all. <laughs> That's the biggest comment right there is just because, again, that shows the power of things that you can do digitally just because if we we're going to do a very similar thing from an analog perspective, I mean, just the impression itself would take longer than the scan and that proposal took. And I mean, that's, like I say, that just shows the power of what you can do, because you can do that while the patient's sitting right there and plan everything while they're there sitting there. And I think it is really, again, great time savings for our patients. So I think it's awesome. Sounds great. So let's move over to another important part of the implant treatment, namely the implant surgery. Mark, from the clinicians and the patient's perspective, what benefits can you see with guided surgery? So we've got 28 more hours in this interview, right, to answer this. So uh, this is literally one of my, I think one of the most important things for me personally in my clinical practice is guided surgery, because I think it brings a lot of very high quality benefits. First and foremost, I think one of the biggest disconnects sometimes we have with implant dentistry is is a is an implant surgeon looking at one thing and a prosthetic doc looking at another. Whereas with guided surgery and with the implant planning software with Simplan or in Galileo's, you're able to bring the prosthetic plan with the bone so both surgeon and restorative doc can look at the exact same thing at the same time and really be able to collaborate well on the case. Then from a surgical perspective, it allows us to be able to get the implant right where we want it, evading you know, the nerves, the fosses, any different things that we can hit and get a really predictable result that way in a very, in a very time efficient manner because all the hard work we put on to the computer beforehand. So by the time we get to doing the surgery, the surgery goes very quickly. And then finally, from the prosthetic side, it allows us to actually be able to get the implants right where we want it without any positional errors. And that, I think, is a very powerful side from the restorative doc, just because it makes our life a whole lot easier to be able to restore these cases because the implant lines up. 
And then from the patient perspective, that's a whole nother aspect in the fact that I think our patients' experience with these things, with any surgery or anything they get in the dental chair, is all about perception. And I think what, what guided surgery does for us is it allows for us to be able to go flapless and do a much less invasive surgery to the patient so they have less pain, they're taking less analgesics, and also it's done in a much quicker way for them so we can get them out you know, and get them healing and more comfortable much quicker. So I think there's just a multitude of benefits to us from, guided, from the guided surgery perspective. Yes, and uh, very, very good reply. So Joe, Dan Spicerona just launched uh, uh, Cerakite 3, a surgical guide produced chair side by the clinician. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, and I think that's very exciting because that's really back to what I said before and what, what we are improving or, or um, digital implant solutions about. And so we just launched the Cerakite 3, uh, which is a, a fully guided uh, system together with our own implants. Um, it's a keyless, so it's using the same guided system that we have already for Astrotec uh, implant system EV, Anklos and Xiv. Um, so it's work, working exactly as people are already uh, aware of with, the, with our implant systems. And I think the, the beauty of it is, is that it allows uh, to, to close the link in the chair side digital implant workflow. Uh, so you can really have a high quality guide uh, it made in a cost-effective way, chair site. And I think that's, that's beautiful that we can do that now uh, with our own implant systems. Thanks, thanks for this update, Joe. And our friend Volk Volker Winter will show us how this works in reality. Now, since implant planning has finished in Galileo's implant, we re-import the case into CERIC. Now we re-import the same scan we did in the very beginning, but now we also add the implant position. And now we create the guide, so which means to define how big this guide is. So we do some clicks in the design. First of all is on the screen here you see in the administration uh, that we imported this case and we are told there's one implant planned on position number four six. And now I proceed into the design phase. Now on the design phase, uh, the software proposes uh, a surgical guide and you may want to, uh, to, to do some changes here. First of all, looking at the sleeve, uh, we are told by the software here that an ankylous wide diameter sleeve was chosen in the planning. Now for the design, we have several options. You could easily apply an inspection window like this, for example. This is very helpful, so during surgery, the dentist has to check that the guide really sits in the proper position and those windows really help uh, uh, to control this. So I applied one window here. And then what you also could do is to cut away areas which you uh, uh, feel are not necessary um, and uh, cut away um, uh, parts from this design. This is just done uh, in a couple of clicks and this is how you adjust uh, the overall uh, design of the guide. Also here some adaptions here because this would be uh, obstructive to, uh, with the gingiva. So in a few minutes you're done. So this is maybe already your design and this is then sent into the uh, manufacturing phase software is ready now and would uh, shows how the design is then placed into the block, how it is milled. You see here, that is the block uh, in reality and the machine will then uh, mill this, uh, the restoration in, in less than one hour. And this is the final result made out of this block with the sleeve, the ankylous wide diameter sleeve in this case, which is glued into it by the dentist himself. So surgery can start. Thanks for this demonstration, Volker. Now we have covered both the uh, data capturing using the Cerec Omnicam as well as the implant guided surgery. So let's talk about the prosthetic solution as well. Mark, when restoring single tooth cases with Atlantis patient specific abutments, what are, uh, are there any clinical benefits? Oh, I think there definitely are some clinical benefits. If you look at the data relative to custom abutments, it shows a lot better soft tissue stability using a custom abutment than a stock type abutment. And I think 
the biggest benefit is just in the name. It's customizable. You know, each patient's different. The patient's biotype's different. Their situation's different as to where the implant is placed. And I think being able to change anything from a height to a width to an emergence profile is really where the power of these things lie. And I mean, to be truly honest, I couldn't do my work without this type of abutment because a lot of times, especially as a prosthodontist, I sometimes get implants referred to me that are in placed in a little bit of a challenging position and it is only via these solutions, you know, like with an angled screw channel or different solutions such as that, that we're actually able to restore these cases because without them, I truthfully couldn't do my job. So it's very, very important for me. I understand. Anything that you would like to add, Joe? Uh, it's just great to hear that we are actually addressing those unmet needs of the, of the clinicians with, for example, what we just released, the Atlantis custom-based solution with angulated screw axis up to 30 degrees, really allowing you to solve those more challenging cases, as you, as you call it, Mark, uh, but also provide still a very, I mean, the best, uh, ex the best aesthetic and, and uh, functional results uh, for basically every tooth position. So let's look, see what this can look like. Here's one of our product specialists, Carl Johan Runeson. We are able to um, customize everything from the emergence profile uh, to the core height of the abutment uh, and also the width of the abutment and crown, uh, which is, makes it pretty unique because uh, compared to normal tie bases, for example, they have the same height and uh, the same emergence profile. But here you can really uh, increase the height of the emergence uh, profile as you want. For example, if we start with the abutment part, you can order it in either titanium or in titanium with, a, with gold shaded uh, coating, which is a titanium nitride coating, a really thin coating, uh, which gives you this uh, golden color as you can see on this uh, example here. So one other really good thing with uh, Atlantis abutments in general is that we offer our uh, solutions for all major implant systems. It's over 80 uh, connections we are available with. We have a lifetime warranty uh, on titanium. So and with the crown it's five years. Uh, but if you order the abutment from us, it, you have a lifetime warranty. So we make sure we have your, your, you covered uh, for the rest of the patient's life. So of course with the screw retained restoration, you always end up with a screw access channel uh, through the restoration. And with the Atlantis custom based solution, you also have the opportunity to order an angulated screw access. You can actually angle up to 30 degrees from the implant axis. So that gives you a really good freedom to place the, the axis wherever you want. Thank you very much for this demonstration, Carl Yuan. Dance by Serona Implants has developed a new digi digital implant workflow solution where all products needed for a streamlined single tooth treatment are delivered to the dentist, which is called Asento. Joe, Asento launched in the US last month. When will Asento will be available in Europe? Yeah, so uh, it was very exciting. About the la last month, we, we started uh, to launch uh, Asento in the US. So as you say, Azento is really a streamlined digital implant solution, uh, which we narrowed down to three steps. Uh, we narrowed it down to scan, approve, treat. Um, and after you have done the, the scans of your patient, you can upload your data. We provide a prosthetically driven a treatment plan, which you can approve basically on any device. Um, and in five business days, you get all the components uh, to, do, to do the surgery, but also the restoration uh, up to an immediate temporization. Um, we launched this in the US, we're going to launch this in, uh, in IDS, uh, that IDS uh, mid-March 2019, uh, rolling out uh, in, in Europe, so that's going to be very exciting. And Mark, you were part of the ambassador program for Asento, so what is your experience with this solution? Oh, I love this solution. It, it's based on principles that we've been doing for about the past five years, and it's, it's it just streamlines all the difficult parts you have in these surgeries because the things that take us the most time is one, doing the surgery, and that's taken care of through the guided surgery, so that goes very quickly. And then we get a very nice result from having the custom abutment and having the, your pre-made provisional ready there for you to where we just put the implant in, screw the abutment in, and slide the crown right on. And it just makes it so efficient and gives you a very, using the custom abutment, it gives you very nice soft tissue results in a very predictable way. So I love it. I mean, it's probably 
this type of procedure is probably my favorite thing that I do on a day in, day out basis just because it is very predictable and the response you get from patients is incredible because they're just so excited that they've got this new tooth that looks great and functions great. I mean, there's no beating it. Okay, thank you. And one, I have one final question for you, Mark. What would, advice would you give to your fellow colleagues out there when, with regards to the digital implant workflow? I would say, to be truly honest, there's no better time to get into it than now. The technology is very simple compared to how it's always been. There's no better time to have all these solutions put together that Joe talked about because it's all embedded in one workflow. And I think there really is no better time to get into it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to go out and spend you know, $300,000 buying all of this equipment. You need to figure out what is going to work best for you and your own clinical practice and what is best going to benefit your patients and change their experience to help benefit them. And from there, that's where you move forward. And I just think it's the type of thing where it has progressed to such an extent that now pretty much every dentist and every clinician is able to use these tools, and so there's no better time to do it than right now. Okay, sounds great. And then they can adapt it to their individual way of working. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's the beauty about it, is it's all very customizable to what's going on with you and your own clinic with your own patients. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. So I would like to thank both of you, Mark and Joe, for taking the time to join us here on Live Talks uh, and share your experience and thoughts with us. Thanks a lot for coming. Thanks for having us. So later today, we will broadcast two more live talks. On the first one, around 5.15, you will actually be able to listen to Mark uh, when he is presenting on Dance by Serona Implants uh, inspiration talks on the subject of digital planning and execution from simple to complex. So don't miss that. The second live talks airs around 6.15 and features Dr. Marco Gigidi, who will present on the conometric concept and the new innovative solution, Acaris, that redefines fixed retention. All live talks from Vienna will be available on the Dance by Serona Implants global Facebook page. So take the opportunity to be inspired, and I look forward to seeing you soon again. <laughs>